Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu. And I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Are you looking for a great gift idea for somebody on your shopping list? Today, we will be looking at Mark Donahue's 1971 award-winning AMC Javelin AMX by AMT. Now this one's out of my own personal collection. However, you can see all of our available model kits at www.monster-hobbies.ca. I will leave a link in the description below. Now let's go down to our bench and see what's in the box. And now we return once again to the famous race car track circuits of Trans Am Racing where we get to take a look at Mark Donahue's 1971 AMC Javelin AMX by AMT. Mark Donahue was considered a leading Trans Am driver of the late 1960s and early 1970s. Had there been a driver's championship in place at the time, he would have won three of them while driving Camaros in 1968 and 69 and an AMC Javelin in 1971, all for Roger Penske Racing. This is a 125th scale super detailed model of Mark Donahue's Penske prepared Sunco Javelin AMX. It includes great features like the AMC engine, the lockout shifter, the bucket seat, Goodyear tires, and these great Trans Am style racing wheels. In 1971, of the 10 races that the over 2.5 liter class cars participated in, Donahue won 7 of them, including the final 6 races in a row, with AMC winning the manufacturer's championship for the first time ever. In the final race of the season, Javelins finished in first, second, and third place, with George Fulmer becoming the only other Javelin driver to win besides Donahue. Penske Donahue hottest team in Trans Am racing, featuring decals from Champion, Goodyear, American Motors, Sunco, Penske Racing, Sports Car Club of America, Trans Am, and Javelin. And here we have a nice illustration of the actual car and how it looks. Sadly, Mark Donahue died at the Austrian Grand Prix on the Oysterreich Ring midway through the 1975 Formula One race season. He was only 38. So now let's open up the lid on Mark Donahue's Javelin AMX and see what's inside. And as I was saying, this is out of my own personal collection, and I did buy it secondhand at a model kit show a very long time ago. However, what is nice is that the previous owner actually put everything in paper towels. So here we have a Javelin instruction sheet. We have our decal sheet. I did get a replacement set of decals, which we'll take a look at later. Here we've got our interior and our undercarriage. And you may notice something interesting about this kit. The parts are actually very Johan looking. In fact, this model kit's original molds were from Johan and were out on loan to AMT at the time just to make this one car. Here's our tires, all nicely in an old film canister. We've got our rear spoiler here. In this paper towel, I can feel the glass. Under this paper towel, we have our chrome pieces. And if we take those out and lift this up, you'll see all our white plastic components underneath. Now we can take a look at the AMT Javelin AMX instruction sheet. Right away we start with the engine assembly, which includes of course our right and left hand engine block with the transmission molded in place, cylinder heads, valve covers, intake manifold, carburetor, air cleaner, radiator hose, water pump hose, oil filter, coil, starter, distributor, front cover, oil filter, alternator, water pump, radiator hose, pulleys, and the fan and our oil pan wrapping it all up. The next step is our wheel assembly, where you have four inner wheels, four tires, and four outer wheels, which all go together like so. Continuing in the process is the chassis pan, the blocks going in, our metal axles and our wheels assembling on, going through the assembled engine. Then we put together our exhaust manifolds in these stages and drop them into place on the chassis, connecting them with the engine. For the next stage of our assembly, we have our interior going together. Make sure you follow these steps properly or you're going to find yourself in some trouble. First off, you need to put the seat into the floor pan, followed by the shift lever and the fire extinguisher. Then after that, you can assemble your roll cage, put that in next, then your dashboard because your dashboard is slotted to go onto these parts of the braces, and then your steering wheel. 
and everything else will all go into place according to the numbers. Next up we have our body assembly starting with our radiator wall being glued up here in the front then our window and mirror pop into place followed by our assembled interior which hooks up underneath and slots into the back of the body. Panel 6 shows our final assemblies with the window plates being locked in at the back, spoiler popping in, the taillights gluing into the back end of the bumper, the gas cap mount and gas cap glue in right in there, and then the whole assembly goes into the back. And looking from the front view, we get our headlight covers going onto that nice bumper grill assembly, which pops into the front spoiler pan, which glues into the body shell. The inner hood glues up underneath of the actual hood, and the two racing mirrors pop on the side and the whole thing lions on that chassis. Here we have the excellent body for our AMC Javelin AMX. As you can see, it's got that nice roof indentation. The grill up here under our windshield wipers. We have to remove this section, of course, with our hobby saw. They've got the nice AMX script right on the side. The little notch for our exhaust to come through the body. I always like the Coke bottle shape on these things. Sort of like a Corvette and a Camaro got together, or maybe even a Mustang. Underneath, nice and smooth under there. No, nothing we need to scrape out. The side's nice, got that nice uh, refrigerator style door latch right there. Across the back, you can see you plug everything in. There's three holes for the spoiler, and here I've got the spoiler, so let's just see how it fits. Look at that, nice and flush right into the body. Very little cleanup to do. There is a mold line along here, there, <laughs> and a nice little AMC logo just underneath the window molding. Very nicely done. As for our hood here, a little bit of detail underneath, a couple of mold marks to scrape out on the hood, but this nicely will go in place just like so. And we'll sit down nice once we get rid of that little cross brace in there. Next up we have our interior bucket. And even though this is just a tub, it is nicely molded. We've got a little ridge in here to mount our seat. We've got little holes for roll cages and roll bars. There are the pedals sitting in there. And underneath, nice and smooth. So again, very nice work done by AMT slash Johan. Next we have our chassis pan, and as you can see there are quite a lot of mold marks on this one. So you will have to clean this up, provided of course you can find this kit, it's quite vintage now. Turning the kit upside down you can see the nice detail that's molded in place, like the rear springs, the differential, the drive shaft, and of course this is a unibody type of kit. So we've got our front cross member in there, very simplistic, but again, nice detail work on it. For uh, simple molding of course, and there you go. And here we have the remainder of all our white plastic components. To start with, we can take a look at all the engine components on this parts tree. The engine block did pop off, so did a cylinder head. But you can see all the valves in top of the cylinder head under there. And then the nice detail on the engine, looking at the water pump and the intake manifold, the oil pan, and all these great bits and components. There's our front panel to glue in, which again has the holes in there for the grill. You can notice the dashboard has cutouts for the roll bar. There's our rear wheels, the hoses, and mufflers, the fire extinguisher, and our exhaust headers. This great parts tree shows our roll cage in place. And again, the seam lines are going to be in there, and you want to get those cleaned up and make them nice and smooth. These little bands go across the rear window, and then we've got headlight blank outs. And our final parts tree includes the four blocks for a metal axle, our driver's seat, our radiator and wall support, our firewall, our fan, the little detail under the hood, our air cleaner, and our steering wheel. Our glass components consist of the typical for the era style molding process, where we have the rear window and the front window connected by these two bridges, and we also get a very nice transparent red rear taillight lens. Here's our groovy chrome tree. As you can see, we've got this amazing grill, very accurate for the 71 Javelin AMX, including the AMX insert screen, which would look good with a little bit of a flat black wash. Right here, we've got our nice rally wheels. There is one in that little film canister. Then over here, look at that great detail on that rear bumper. Nice, just like the real thing, only smaller. And then of course, we've got all our other parts like our carburetor, alternator, and the valve covers. 
Now I'm not really sure which tires came with this kit originally, as the previous owner had replaced them with Goodyear GT radial tires from a monogram kit, which seemed to fit the wheels pretty nicely. However, from referencing the box top, I do believe these tires are more accurate to what was in the kit originally. They only say Goodyear on the sidewalls, which is pretty much what it shows on the box. And the tread and the side here with the little bits seem to match that box art. However, there is one little problem. If we take out the center wheel and put it in here, it falls all the way through to the very back. So that's not really accurate. And uh, I don't know, I guess I'll just have to search my parts box and eventually find something that kind of looks right and kind of fits. However, AMT has these Goodyear Rally GT wheels, which might be right. I have a, a 73 Ford that uses these, that's sort of a race car. So we'll see. I'll, I'll try it and we'll see. Here we have the original decal sheet from 1973 when this kit came out. And as you can see, it has cracked quite a bit. This used the original silk screening process. And of course, with decals that are this old, usually what you want to do is spray paint them with some clear paint, let that dry, and then carefully cut out the decals, put them in the water, and then slide them onto your model. And hopefully they won't crack and crinkle and explode. Because if you don't do that on these, they will. However, I have replaced them with some decals from Fred Caddy. And here we have our Fred Caddy decal sheet. And as you can see, we've got all our stripes on here. Not very much in blue, like the original decal sheet. So we might have to pinstripe those in with a brush. Here we've got our white for the roof, or the hood, pardon me. There's the red for the roof, our number six decals, the Sunoco and Sears, Goodyear, Javelin, and all the other sponsors that are on here plus a bunch of sixes and some white circles as well, just for different styles and other things. And that completes our look at our 1971 Mark Donahue's Javelin AMX by AMT. And if you've built this model kit in the past, why not share it over on our Facebook page? I'll leave the link in the description below. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed this great video where I got to show you Mark Donahue's 1971 award-winning American Motors Javelin AMX by AMT. Tune in next week when we open up the lid on another great model kit. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Hit that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you're the first to see it. And until next time, happy model building!